So much, Pat. From our kitchen to the kitchen of your host, if you're running out of ideas on what to bring to your next holiday party, we may have just the answer for you. Take a look. Today I'm joined by executive chef Kevin Goudreau, who's going to show us how to be the life of the party by bringing something that's not just your ordinary bag of chips, right? Correct. Let's head on in. Quaint little wine and cheese shops like Grapes and Gourmet in Jamestown are quickly becoming your party hors d'oeuvres headquarters. Here's the cheese lady. Hello. What's going on? Much like wine, cheeses come from all over the world and in many different varieties. So it's often easier to seek the advice of an expert when shaping your cheese plate. Yeah. It can be intimidating. A lot of these cheeses here, you know, I, I'm sure like, like many at home, I don't even really know how to pronounce it and whatnot, but I'm willing to learn. You suggest actually speaking to a cheesemonger, right? Ab absolutely. I mean, that's the great thing about a cheesemonger. They, the, the store's here to educate people. With local cheeses and imported cheese coming in so many different flavors, it's important to have a wide variety so you'll please everyone's palate. Soft cheese, a firm cheese, a goat, a cow, a hard. And then, you know, she's got all these wonderful things we can, you know, pair with the cheeses on the cheese board. I think we should try the Cacio Blue over there. It's from Ireland. Okay. Awesome. They, you know, the Irish make great cheeses. I'd also like to try that uh, Delice de Bourguignon right there. It's a nice French cheese. This Le Chef Noir looks pretty cool right here. It's a goat cheese. Looks like it's been done. Uh, like a really unique cheese. Really it, it's got some, uh, it's, it's encased in like a black wax. Pretty cool okay. looking. And then let's see, uh, let's do a local cheese. How about, um, you got Atwell's Gold? Divine Providence, awesome. Once we made our selections, our in-house cheesemonger was yeah. eager to let us have a taste of it. Put some fun. Yeah, I like it though. That's awesome. But it's not a lot of salt, right? Sometimes no, no, no. you taste a, a blue cheese that's really salty. This one doesn't have a lot. Nuts and creamy. Don't be intimidated by, you know, $18 a pound. You don't have to buy a pound. You can buy as much or as little as you want. You show me you want an eighth of a pound, no problem. You know, a couple of dollars. It's also very possible your exotic cheese plate will be the talk of the party. We have a Guinness cheddar, and it's actually got Guinness stout marbleized through the cheddar. It's from England. Um, there's a conversation starter right there. To really bring it all together, it's best to pair your cheese with other little snacks. You want to start pairing those cheeses up with like nice little flatbreads, some crostini sticks, some crostinis, maybe some little chutneys, pickled uh, cornichons, things like that. You want to have a variety. And much like wine, there's certain cheese etiquette, which will be handy information with all your office holiday parties coming up. When you go to someone's house and there's a wedge of cheese, you never cut the tip or the nose off of the cheese. That is traditionally for the host of the party. I've broken that rule several times then. Coming up later in the show, Chef Kevin is going to show us how to perfectly prepare our platter for your next holiday get-together. It's time now to get a check on weather with me.